Welcome back to the greenhouse everybody. We're out here on a sunny day. It was partly sunny I should say. We haven't had much sun in the last two weeks so being able to use a solar powered experiment for use of sun to heat up the greenhouse and we're basically drawing all that heat down into this little thermal mass system here. So the sun is basically just going down. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. It's just going down past our pine trees. It'll be completely dark by 4.30. It's pretty darn cold outside. We are sitting about 25 degrees maybe right now. Had 20 degrees overnight, 32 for a high today. It's just cold and spotty clouds and a bunch of wind made for a cold day. So we were able to achieve good temperatures in here. We saw for a max, this is currently going down. It was just showing 64. We showed a max of what 77.8 degrees Fahrenheit is what we were putting into these rocks here. So for an overall temperature of the greenhouse today it was about 72 in here on average at about chest height. So at the very top of the greenhouse up by head height we were sitting about 77 78 degrees and we were drawing all of that back down through that black plastic tube over my head and we were drawing it back down. So this large thermal mass has been holding some good temperatures. We've still got 63, 64, 62, 68, 68 in the shade. We were showing 60, 66 in the shade. I don't know if everybody could see what I was showing here, but down inside there, it's actually warmer than on the outside because it's holding all that thermal mass inside and slowly releasing it, basically exchanging with its outside rocks first and then the inner rocks through the outside rock. So this is actually working. We're putting heat from the top of the greenhouse down into this little box. And you can see how fast this is actually dissipating the heat. It's showing about 62. It's probably for me moving all the air around because this was basically just how the greenhouse was set. So I'm probably negatively impacting this actual structure and the heat release from it because I'm wafting more air around it and I've been touching it and feeling it and lifting rocks and taking temps from inside of it and stuff. I'm quite amazed to see a temperature of 65 when all of the rocks, the ground right here in front of me is 55. This large brick that is just literally sitting on the ground, 57, I think that says there. So we're definitely 10 degrees over the temps ambient on the floor. So what we're achieving passively with the sun just absorbing it into the floor and into matter and rocks and everything in the greenhouse that is getting hit by the sun is definitely absorbing but not as fast as when we're pulling all of that extra heat from the top and pushing it down through all of these rocks and letting it rise back up to absorb all that heat. So I thought everybody would enjoy a little bit of data from this build here. You can see it's dramatically losing. We got 0.8 of a degree that we've lost already because it's in the shade also so this is the sunny side and we took all our temps from over here on the shady side so very very interesting to be able to see the actual results of this on a partly sunny day you can hear that just cycling and since it's a centrifugal fan this centrifugal fan we showed hooking up back here. That little ball bearing that's spinning continuously spins. So between the three second, two, three second cycles, this is actually continually pulling and drawing air. It might not be as strong as when it's cycling and has the power to it, but it is still drawing and I can physically feel the air being pulled past my head. So very, very interesting stuff. Very simple build actually. We just kind of threw all of the recycled materials together and some of our limestone there. And this is one of those experiments that is hands down without a doubt beneficial to your greenhouse. You are just pulling all of the extra heat that is lost. All of that energy and heat that you're losing that is just built up on the floor and then slowly rises up and then exchanges with the outside. We've got two layers here so it takes a little longer. So we're able to pick all that up and shove it back into the ground area. So we're going to expand upon this. This was just a first run on the experimental solar thermal heater I may do a larger one over by my bench here if I move some stuff around I'm not sure here yet but we got some good ideas coming we've got lots and lots of free stone and we're gonna make up some of our own bricks some DIY concrete and all types of stuff my son left the door open that's why I keep seeing my breath it's getting cold in here so we've got a ton of experiments coming down the pipe for everybody I hope everybody stays tuned and if you guys got something you want to see just drop in the comments let me know I love to converse with everybody and brainstorm these ideas and talk about all of the facts and data and methods for things so I'm learning a lot we're all 
learning a lot. I love sharing this and I really appreciate everybody's input. Everybody is so positive on the channel. We have a lot of great minds on here. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this and until next time.